Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm very excited to do my first first impressions video. It is on this Bourjois Happy Light Foundation right here. I picked it up from Pix about two hours ago. I hope it is the right color. It's in the color rose beige. I don't know if it's my color, but we'll see. I'm going to prime half of my face um, like I watched, I recently watched Shannon's video and she, she said that some people like to see it with primer on and then the other side without primer. So I'm gonna prime this not well inside of my face with primer and then this side I won't. Um, my skin is dry around my chin and around my nose but other than that I think it's pretty normal skin. I just went in with my Johnson & Johnson face wipes. And then I'm going to prime this side of my face. This side of my face, um, my face is swollen because I recently got my wisdom teeth taken out. But you know, this side is doing way better than this side. So I'm going to start. Oh, actually, I'm going to change that. I'm going to use my Smashbox Go to Finish Foundation Primer. The foundation says it has um, translucent pigments and it's an 8 hour hydration foundation so I don't know how it would look on uh, oily skin, I don't think you'd like it on oily skin but yeah, we'll see how that goes. I have fairly normal skin except for like dry patches in winter so I will be documenting it so the time right now is Six minutes past three. I will put on the foundation and then do my face off camera. And then um, after like every three hours, maybe four or five hours, I'll come back and show you, tell you if it's starting to break here and there, tell you how it's doing on the non-primed side of my face rather than the primed and all that stuff. I will. My last update will probably be at around 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, but you can just count the hours and not the actual time that I'm using. Let's get this open. Okay, so I finally got it to open. It comes with a little pump like this. It's really nice packaging. Pump is really convenient. Hopefully it's the right color for my skin. I'm going to apply it with a brush. Um, I'm going to use my real technique clocking brush. I'm just going to use... Oh, it is very wet. It's a very wet foundation. So as you can see, I'm just uh, pumping the foundation onto my buffing brush by Real Techniques. And as you've also noticed, the foundation is way too light for my skin. But I think you'll see um, a little later on in the video that it does actually, you can actually work with it with a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of contour. It doesn't look as bad as you see it now, especially if you have a pressed powder that is in your color. So after you apply this liquid foundation, you just set it with your powder, then it should correct the color immediately. So I'm just going to buff that into my face and then I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to set it with powder on camera and then I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of my face and then I'll come back later to show you um, how the foundation is holding up. And if I have any discrepancies with it. Ooh, big word. You could also mix the foundation in with a liquid, another liquid foundation that is um, the right color for your skin tone. It will um, tint this one a little bit, but it will have an overall lighter look, but it won't be as bad 
as having it alone. So that's another way you can fix it up, but with a little bit of powder you shouldn't have a problem. Because the foundation is so much lighter than your skin tone, don't forget to blend it into your neck as well because you don't want to have a line showing the different skin tones. Okay, so I just put the foundation on and I just put a pressed powder on top of it, my normal color powder on top of it. I'm going to go do my entire face with camera and then I'll update you in a couple of hours about how the foundation is wearing on my skin on both sides of my face and then I'll let you know later. So see you back in about maybe two to five hours. Hi. Hey everyone, so it's been um, four hours and five, six minutes since I put on the Bourjois foundation. As you saw in the previous clip, it is a lot lighter than my skin tone, but um, the little bit of bronzer, I think I made it look fairly good. Now, I just have a couple of things to mention about it. Um, the non-primed side of my face, let's start with that side. Um, around my mouth, I have very dry skin as well as around my nose. And around my mouth on the non-primed side, it started to flake a little. Obviously these things won't happen to everyone depending on your skin type in terms of normal or oily is the result that you'll get. Um, on this side, my skin started to flake a little around my mouth and on this side it's completely normal. Also, on this side, um, it started to settle into the lines like when you smile and stuff. It settles into those lines and this side doesn't. So, I think the prime side is very good and plus the foundation leaves a very nice natural glow, nothing too dewy like you just came out of a sauna, but it's just a really fresh, healthy glow, which is really nice. You won't like it if you have oily skin, but I love it. It's not matte, but it's not too oily, so I think it's perfect. And yeah, other than that, I think the foundation is doing pretty well for four hours. I will update you again. The time right now is quarter past six. I will update you again at maybe nine o'clock and then again at 12 o'clock. So yeah, I'll tell you how it holds up. But other than those few disagreements with the foundation, the foundation is amazing. See you at nine o'clock. Bye. Okay, so I will update you in a couple of hours again about how the foundation is doing. I will also include, right now actually, I'll include a couple of pictures of how it looks with the flash on. Right now I have artificial lighting on, so the lights are on. So this is how it would look if you went out to dinner and they had lights and everything, or you went out to the mall, or you know, just in your house. I will take photos with no flash, and then with flash so you can see how it looks. But other than that, see you later. Also, if you want to see a makeup tutorial on this look, then just leave a comment in the comment section and I will definitely get back to you. Hey guys, so it, the time now is 11, oh, 9 minutes, really? The time now is 11 minutes past 9 and it's been a total of 7 hours since I applied the bourgeois foundation and between the last update and this one there was a lot of movement and a lot of like I wore the scarf you know just to see how it would suffice in like you know normal situation and there was a lot of jumping around because my favorite song came on and all that stuff there was a lot of laying down so yeah overall in the seven hours I just 
I have this line here. It's for my glosses because I wear glosses. And if any of you know how to get rid of this line without having to put a tissue right here, just let me know because it's really annoying. But let's get back to the topic. Um, overall, in the seven hours, I think this foundation is absolutely amazing. I would definitely recommend it. Aside from the uh, oh, it is starting to get patchy on my chin or just around my lips. That's because my lips are really like they're like the area around my lips is dry, so it would differ for different types of skin in terms of oily, dry, you know, combination. But other than that, I think I love this foundation. I love how dewy it is without making it look like you have oil on your face or without making it look like you just came out of a sauna. It's like the perfect amount of health and dewy and glow. It's like a natural glow from within. It's nothing to, even after the powder that you put on, it, you, the illuminatingness still comes through. I don't even know if that's a word, but uh, I will come back, I think, with another update at around 11, 12 o'clock. But for now, I give this foundation a 10 out of 10 because I love Bourjois and I love all their products. So you can go check it out. Um, maybe I should have gone with the dark beige because there was dark beige or rose beige and I went with the rose beige. It was a little light, but I can still use it. I think it looks fairly good after I work my magic but other than the places like around my mouth and my smile lines definitely would recommend you to use a primer with this foundation because on this side around my mouth it looks absolutely flawless it looks amazing but this side is really like it's sinking into the lines and you know just becoming really patchy and not so pretty but other than that this foundation is awesome you can prime you know it's really easy to find primers you don't have to use a mac or anything you can just use a normal not even smackbox you can buy the nivea post shave balm the men's insensitive that is a beautiful primer because it has glycerin and glycerin help things stick to it and this I learned from Nikki um, from Nikki Tutorials I will link her channel down below go check her out she's absolutely amazing love her like die for her you can go check her out but yeah if you use a primer with this and you just put this on it just it makes the finish look so much better and so much more flawless than the non prime side and the wear is much better than not using a primer. So yeah, um, I will update you again soon. So let's see how well this does through my editing because I think I'm going to go edit the video now. So I can have one up by Friday and today is Monday. So yeah, I'll see you again in a couple of hours. Hey guys, so it is half past 11 right now. As you can see, see it's half past 11 and this is going to be my last update. Um, overall, I think the Bourjois foundation is absolutely stunning. It gives you such a healthy glow from within, which is what everyone wants. Give me a little bit Kardashian. Anyway, I give the foundation a 10 out of 10. I just wish they had a wider color range for all types of skin tones. But because they don't, it kind of sucks because you can't buy it. But oh, if you're willing to, you know, persevere and get it anyway, and you know, work your magic and have it look like this afterwards, by all means, go for it. If you buy it, you can use it actually for a lot of things. If you don't want to use it for your entire face, you can mix it in with a, another foundation. It's just a lot of endless possibilities. But for the last time, the Bourjois 
foundation is amazing. Thank you so much for watching this first impressions video. I will do more of these because I have a lot of first impression things that I would like to try out. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye! If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!